And if you walked up and said trick or treat and they didn't give you anything, you could be like, talk to the hand because the face ain't listening. Let's play a game. All right, guys, in case you have not been paying attention, I am traveling the country filming Spirit Halloween stores in every one of 50 states across the entire country of the USA in that giant RV right back there. And let me tell you, some of these are not easy to get into. Today, we are going to this Spirit Halloween right back here in Kennewick, Washington. I believe that's how it's said. If it's not, you guys tell me, but I think it's pronounced Kennywick. And I believe this is in an old Tuesday morning, which seems to be a place that Spirit Halloween took over a lot of this season. So even though it is a Sunday morning when I am filming this, we are going into the Tuesday morning to see the Spirit Halloween. But to add one more layer to it, this video will actually be going up on a Monday. <laughs> Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Spirit. Guys, I believe this is the 41st state that I am filming Spirit Halloween stores in. I have nine more states to go. Will you join me? Will you subscribe to see when I hit number 50? All right, guys, here we go. Spirit Halloween, Kennewick, Washington. What do they have? Maybe they have some Naruto. All right, we're gonna say hello to our animatronic friends in just a second, but look at this, guys. I noticed some cool things here that I haven't seen, like this skeleton hand bracelet. What the heck? That is pretty cool. Oh, look, your fingers go through there. Does it actually have... It must actually have joints on it. That's like so emo. And look at this, we have the skull armor ring. This is actually pretty cool. I have seen these and it also has a little hook there that your finger goes in. And this one does bend with your finger. That is pretty cool right there. That also is so emo. Okay, I can hear our Martian going off over here. So let's come on over and say hi. Hello, Mr. Martian. Wait a minute, he stopped. All right, let's get him going again here. He is awesome. The only thing I don't like is that his dome is so shiny that there's always a big reflection in it. Like I'm trying to show you his face and there's a huge reflection of the door in it. Death awaits all who enter here. All right, let's come over and say hello to gorgeous George. Hello, gorgeous George. Okay, I've heard enough of you. Let's come over and say hello to gorgeous Slim. <laughs> and guys, just for old time's sake, I have to say it. What are those? Couple of stickers for Slim here. Oh look, Grim is wearing a bracelet. What the heck? PP? What does that mean? All right, if you're the person who put that bracelet on Grim, let me know in the comments. Hello, Grim. Spooky candles. Fabric of death. Goblets of fire. And gargoyles of death. Look how cool the gargoyle looks when the light from the fire is shining straight up on him. Oh, it looks like Dagger Mike has run away. But we do have the scary sitting scarecrow here. Let's see if he works with the step pad. Yep, there he is. Hello, sir. We're gonna leave you some stickers for a child who would like to find some. All right, let's say hello to the widow. Hello, the widow. Okay, that appears to be it for our animatronic friends up front here. Let's go ahead through the store. Wait a minute. Man, do I love going to stores that I've never been to before. Look at this, guys. I have never seen this shirt before. Warning, the monster demands a mate. The Bride of Frankenstein, that is a pretty cool shirt right there. Universal Monsters on the front, there's a print of flowers on the sleeves, and the Bride of Frankenstein on the back. We have seen this canvas tote, which is pretty cool. People online are loving this, never trust the living. And then, I don't think I've looked at these yet. Universal Monsters Bride of Frankenstein costume and a Franken chick. These are pretty cool though too. Look at this. Iron-on patch and lapel pin set. So that comes with two pins, Frankenstein and the creature from the Black Lagoon, 
in two patches that you iron on. All right, let's go ahead and make our way. Oh, hello, squishy face Freddy. <laughs> what the heck? All right, let's make our way back through the store here, guys. See if they have any other animatronics set up. I do see some animatronics on the floor over here for sale, but let's take a walk through the back here first and see if they have like another place. Yes, they do. They have the back ISE set up. How very cool. All right, wait a minute. Somebody back here is laughing at me. Here we go. She is just laughing up a storm here with her little hair spout. I'd be laughing too if I had a hair spout and my hand jammed into a pumpkin. Guys, I just heard Darling Dolly and she was so loud. Okay, look at this. Her hair in front of her face. All right, let's get her going here. Here we go. Watch this. Watch how loud. Oh my God. <laughs> It's so loud. I think I'm going to need a diaper after that one. All right, let's get the eternal rest going here, if she will. Does she work? All right, she's not working. She must be in a slumber of death. All right, I hear the black heart going over here. Let's go ahead and see him. Your past, you will stay with me for the rest of eternity. So somebody was saying you should put a mask on her. Like, I should buy him, and I should put a different mask or a different dummy in there so that every time he opens his arm, there's, like, somebody different in there. That is a cool idea. Like, you could literally just put anything in there. I've never put this together, so I don't know how removable she is, but you could at least put some kind of a face mask on her. Like, any of these would work. Just the regular face mask that just goes over the front of your face. You could put Jolly Wally on her face. Who's behind him? Oh, it's another Jolly Jolly Wally, okay. Or you could put the silent clown mask. That one would work. Or even the nighty night. All right, let's come back over here and say hello to Gordo. Come on, Gordo. All right, here we go. Very cool, not very loud, but very awesome. Surprisingly, the Grave Watcher. Okay, here she goes. I was gonna say surprisingly, she's not going absolutely ballistic in here like she usually does, but there's her. Let's see if Dust Modus works. Okay, here we go. Ooh, wow, <laughs> he actually made me jump that time. Holy crap, good job, sir. All right, let's try Skelly. Come on now, Skelly, I see his eyes lighting up. Come on, Skelly, come on. There we go. Skelly always, always does us right. Okay, let's go ahead and do our jumping spider here. Good job, sir. I think all of you deserve some stickers. Here's some for the jumping spider. Here's some for these fellows. And let's leave a couple for this laughing fellow right here. What about my stickers? I do love how there's so many sounds going on here right now. Let's keep moving, guys. Come on over here and say hello to Here Lies Lord Farquaad. See if we can get the howling spirit going. Come on, there we go. It seems to me, guys, that he's supposed to be like moving back and forth too. I honestly don't remember. I've seen so many of these and some of them work right, some of them don't. I was in one store where like only one arm was moving. All right, you guys tell me, am I doing it wrong when it comes to the gargoyle? Isn't he like just supposed to be on some kind of a sensor where he lights up and he makes some sound? 90% of the stores I go into, he is also in the slumber of death. Oh, look who they have set up over here, guys. They actually have a Bubba set up. I think this is only the second or third store where they've actually had a Bubba set up. You gotta love Bubba. Good job, sir. You deserve a bone. And you are in luck because we have a whole selection over here. You know what's funny, guys? One of the only things I haven't made fun of and called it like the chains of death or the heart of death is the ham hock of death. <laughs> One ham hock for sale. I like this heart because you could get it and play Indiana Jones in a temple of doom. Kalima Satide. All right, ma'am, I'm sorry for tearing your heart out. All right, let's make our way over here for a minute, guys. We're gonna go over to where I saw the stacks of animatronics for sale. They are right over here on the right. Look at this, holy crap. Once in a lifetime, guys, there is only one jumping spider available under the giant jumping spider 
Spider's animatronic sign. There's usually like 50 of them there. What the heck? I'm sorry you don't have any friends, Mr. Jumping Spider. Someone will be in to adopt you very soon. And when they do, they will get a Nate Guy sticker. All right, let's take a look at what we have over here, guys. On the corner, we have a leather face. We have a Emmeline, which I have not bought yet, and I still want to. We have a Howling Spirit on the top. All right, arms move up and down and make scary sounds. I guess that is all he was supposed to do. I was thinking that he was supposed to, like, kind of go back and forth, too, but I guess it's just the arms. We got a stilt on the bottom, a.k.a. Papa Pins. We have a Mars Attacks Martian Warrior. <laughs> Warrior? What the heck did I say that for? A Mars Attacks Martian Warrior right here and another leather face over here as well as two sitting scarecrows not the scary sitting scarecrows just the regular sitting scarecrows look at this guys how cool is this i think this is only the second or third store that i've been in where they actually had the michael myers plush i have not bought him yet but let's take a look at these we have the crouchy plush here i love how when you shake him his hair goes nuts like watch this hair what the heck? <laughs> we have Sally, we have Michael Myers, we have Adam here, we have Barbara here, we have Annabelle here, Miss Argentina down here, we have Georgie's boat, we have the rotting pumpkin head Sam. Who is this? Oh, it's Wednesday. I don't know if I've seen the plush Wednesday in any other store. And look, she even has her headless doll. How cool is that? And we got a couple more here on the bottom. We have the regular Sam here. We have this dude from The Corpse Bride. Every time I touch one of these, it comes off the little hanger thing. Okay, there you go, back to your home. And then we have this guy here, Cousin It. That one is pretty dang cool, guys. When I first came in here, I thought this was gonna be a very small store, but it's actually pretty dang big, guys. It goes all the way around, all the way back. They have both of the animatronic ISEs set up, tons of doormats, tons of the backpacks, lunch boxes galore, and then these guys. Dog costumes, many of the bobbleheads, many of the bouncy heads, many of the plush throws. And here's one that I don't know if I've ever seen before, guys. Nightmare Before Christmas Reversible, The Lovers. Have I shown you this before? I don't know if I've seen this one before. Have I seen the Mars Attacks one too? I don't know, you guys tell me. Ooh, look, this section is called Haunted Home. I don't know if I've seen this before, but we have this guy here. And then we have, look at this, it's a black rose. Plenty of Beetlejuice, plenty of Nightmare Before Christmas, plenty of Elvis, plenty of 80s goodness, plenty of inflatable and couples costumes, as well as this weird stuff over here, plenty of nurses and doctors, a couple of tiny terrors, plenty of monster hands, plenty of eyes, plenty of masks, plenty of baseball bats, plenty of inflatables, plenty of rats and dogs and carrots and cats. Let's leave some stickers in the cauldron. Here's the snake inflatable that I was going to buy at the Bend, Oregon store, and I got up to the counter and didn't have my wallet with me. What the heck? And it's right there in front of me, but I don't think I'm going to buy it today, guys. I gotta be feeling it when I buy some of this stuff and I'm not feeling it. Are you feeling it? Let's take a look at these awesome trick-or-treat bags right here because I haven't taken any time to do that recently. And I like this one right here. With this skull, you actually go up and you put the candy right in here. And there's even a skull on the actual bag. Here's a skeleton hand that works the same way and it's got a skull on that bag. This one I love. It's a green hand because it's a green Slimer. Look at this, we got another green hand up here with an alien, an orange hand with a pumpkin, and what is, is this, it's SpongeBob. It's a pineapple and a SpongeBob bag. This one down here looks like some sort of clown. Yeah, and a white hand. Look, he has green nails on there. How cool is that? And then we have this one, which I believe is, yes, Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from uh, Ghostbusters. And look at the hand. It's a marshmallow hand. Trick or treat, I'd like one s'mores, please. And if you walked up and said trick or treat and they didn't give you anything, you could be like, talk to the hand because the face ain't listening. And if you were 
wearing this mask, you could be like, you must have read the instructions wrong with your one eye! Alright, you gotta love the Ninja Turtles. I'm all about the older, original Ninja Turtles, but look at this. These look so awesome. They actually look like they just jumped off the page of a comic book. How cool is that? Have you guys seen the new Ninja Turtles movie yet? I have not, and I want to see it. Let me know how it is. Look, you can even get eye masks. If you don't want to buy, like, the actual mask, you can get eye masks and paint your whole face green. <laughs> Speaking of green, hello, Oogie Boogie. All right, guys, I know I haven't filmed everything in this store. It's such a huge store, but I actually have to drive all the way to Idaho today. So I'm going to call it a day on this store but not before we look at these giant feet. I should get these giant Mickey feet just to wear around. <laughs> these guys think that's a good idea, but this guy doesn't go away evil. All right, to close this one out, guys, the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4 mask that I always talk about how much I love, yet I have not bought it yet. Look at how awesome that is. Shall I buy it right here, right now, in Kennywick? Washington. <laughs>